Well, Philadelphia prisons have been under fire for years. There have been concerns about conditions inside facilities, inmate deaths, escapes, and a lot more. A recent report showed nearly half of correctional officer jobs are currently vacant. Now, the city has a new leader of the prisons department. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Dan Snyder shows us his plan. Are you ready to get to work? Yes. All right. Michael Resnick formally introduced Wednesday as the new head of the Philadelphia Department of Prisons. Resnick will look to turn around a department racked with concerns about the number of officers and conditions inside prison walls. It's daunting, but it's doable. Philly prisons have faced evaluations from a court-appointed monitor since 2022 after settling a class action lawsuit. The latest report, dated March 29th, found 46% of budgeted correction officer jobs were vacant. It cited staff assaults, fights, stabbings, and more as drivers of staffing shortages. Dangerously understaffed, overcrowded with inmates, as well as, you know, you're dealing with the elements, you know, K2 smoke. People not being able to get out of their cells for days, um, sometimes even weeks at a time. On Monday, three groups filed a contempt motion, saying the city isn't doing enough and seeking to fine the prison's department $5 per inmate per day until they reach compliance. That would be um, a little over 23000 uh, per day. But Mayor Sherelle Parker and correctional officer union leaders believe Resnick brings experience to the job. A former city public safety director, Resnick also served as acting prisons commissioner in 2016 and ran prisons in Baltimore. He says he was able to navigate a similar situation there. Within two years of being there, we were able to um, satisfy the monitor. We were in substantial compliance with the conditions of confinement. Resnick says he has two priorities, increasing staff and reducing the prison population. On staffing, he believes that starts with taking care of the officers they already have. When our current employees feel like they are appreciated, they have good morale, um, they're happy in their jobs, they will refer their friends, their family, and their neighbors to us. Dan Snyder, CBS News. Philadelphia.